Welcome to your graduation ceremony. We are now live on YouTube and your ceremony will begin. Welcome everyone. My name is Professor Stella Brutzi and I'm Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Humanities at UCL. It's my honour and privilege to welcome you to UCL's 2021 virtual graduation ceremony. I'm delighted to see the graduates from the Department of Information Studies and, uh, and the Slade School of Fine Art here with us today. And I know that we have many friends and family members watching as well. We, we hope you are as proud as as we are of this group and what they have achieved. Obviously, we wish we could have been celebrating in different circumstances this summer, but until we can celebrate safely together, I'm delighted that we are able to come together to do so virtually today. We'll try our very best to replicate the experience you, you, you would have had this summer. We will be sharing a short video from our provost, Dr. Michael Spence, and you'll hear speeches from myself, Professor Elizabeth Shepherd, Head of Department um, for Information Studies, and also Professor Kieran Reid, Head of the Slade School of Fine Art. And we'll also hear from an alumna about what life is like after you finish your degree at UCL. But first, a little housekeeping. I'm sure many of us are quite familiar, far too familiar now, with, uh, with, with, with virtual meetings. Please do feel free to share messages of congratulations in the chat function at the bottom of your screen. But otherwise, please stay muted unless, uh, unless called on to unmute. Graduates, just to repeat a little bit of information, we'll be announcing, we, we, we will be announcing names in groups. Once your name has been announced, we encourage you to turn your camera on. And at the end of each group, we will offer you our congratulations and then ask that you turn your cameras off again before we move to the next group. Now I would like to introduce you to our virtual platform party uh, that joins us today to celebrate with you and who you can see on your screens. Colleagues, as I introduce you, please do uh, unmute yourselves and say um, um, a hello to the audience. I'm just going to go around in terms of the tiles. Um, Andreas. Uh, hi, I'm Andreas Vlahidis, lecturer in information science, and I'm here to celebrate the achievements of our students. That's great. Thank you, Alison. Hi, everybody. I'm Alison Hicks, one of the lecturers and also the program director of Library and Information Science. And I'm so thrilled to celebrate our first generation of pandemic librarians. Well done. Simon. Hi, I'm Simon Marnie, and it's great to see so many of you here. Graduations is a really special day. As you know, I'm no longer at UCL but you are my final cohort of students. So it's very, very important for me to be here. And it's always a pleasure to hear from any of you. So please do keep in touch. Anna. 
Hi everyone, I'm Anna Sexton and I'm Programme Director and Lecturer for the Archives and Records Management. So special shout out to our Archives and Records Management graduates. Um, well done on your really big achievement. That's great. Thank you. Caroline. Hello, I'm Caroline Winterskill and I'm a lecturer in publishing at UCL. Um, it's lovely to look down the participants list and see so many familiar names uh, from the MA Publishing, but I'd like to congratulate all the students who are here today from DIS and from the Slade. Caroline, thank you. Daniel? Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Boswell. I am a lecturer on the MA publishing course within the Department of Information Studies. Um, I'd largely just like to echo exactly what Caroline has said, that I'm, I'm, I want to congratulate all of you from across both departments on the excellent achievement that you've made. And I'm very excited to see so many MA publishing graduates here and hopefully catch up with them. Well done, everyone. Thank you, Charles. Hello everybody, I'm Charlie Inskip from the uh, Department of Information Studies on the MA LIS programme, so welcome. I, I've never seen so en so many LIS pro students coming to a graduation, so maybe this is the way forward. Well done everybody and, and all the other students here today as well. You must be very proud. Antonis? Hello everyone, my name is Antonis Mikakis and I'm an Associate Professor in the Department of Information Studies and former director of uh, the Information Science MSc. Uh, congratulations to both to the graduates of, of uh, the Information Science MSc, but also to all the graduates who are here today. Now, Charlie introduced himself as Charlie. Uh, Sam, do I, do I, can I call upon you as Sam? Is that all right? That is fine. That is what everyone here, I think, who knows me, knows me as. So thank you, Stella. Yes, I'm Sam Rayner. I'm also part of the publishing team as part of the Department of Information Studies. And really, Caroline and Daniel have said it all. But I think in this strange year that we've had, it actually doesn't feel like that long ago when we last saw all the publishing student names. It's really lovely to see so many people here and really many congratulations to all of you on your achievement. Thank you. Oliver or Ollie? Uh, hi, I'm Oliver Duke Williams. I'm the programme director for digital humanities and a lecturer. And so I'd just like to say congratulations um, and welcome to all the digital humanities students. We didn't see you for long enough when you were here. So it's nice to see you virtually today and join my con colleagues in con congratulating everyone graduating today. Thank you. Elizabeth Lomas. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Lomas. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Information Studies um, and I taught across the librarianship and archives and records management course. And it's great to see you all here today because you were the cohort that helped us transition from face to face to online. Um, and we're looking forward to hearing about your success in practice and those other transitions. So congratulations to you all. Thank you. That's great. Luke. Hi everybody, uh, my name's Luke Dickens and I'm a lecturer on the then Information Science. Uh, we've just had a name change, so it's now Knowledge Information and Data Science, but it's the same programme that you attended. Um, I'd like to congratulate everybody here, including um, those from the Slade School and DIS, and a special congratulations to those on the KID programme. I'd like to echo all of those um, uh, um, words, warm words uh, from other members of the department. And, and I look forward to um, hearing from some of you in the future. Maybe you can tell, tell us about how you've been doing and how you're getting on in the world of work. Certainly, um, Rob. Hello everybody, I'm Rob Miller and I teach on the, what, what was the IS programme and is now the, the kids programme. And uh, I'd just like to congratulate everybody here and uh, just uh, underline something that Simon said earlier. Do It's lovely to see you all here today, but let's not make this the only time that we see you. Let's keep in touch. So do, uh, you know, drop us an email occasionally and let us know what, what you're doing. We always love to hear from, from uh, our, our ex-students. So, um, so let's keep the contact going. So congratulations, everybody. Thank you. And Carwin, do you want to say, say hello? Hello everyone, congratulations again. Um, uh, my name is Karen Stepanian and I'm, um, um, uh, I have been involved with uh, supervising students on the DH and IS program. So I would like to say congratulations to all of you. 
Elizabeth Shepherd. Thank you. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Shepherd, and I'm the head of the Department of Information Studies. Um, and I'm absolutely delighted to see so many of our graduates here today. Um, and I really welcome you and congratulate you very, very warmly on your great achievements. And it's lovely to see so many of you. And our second head of department, Kieran Reid. Thank you, Stella. Um, welcome, everyone. Um, I'm Kieran Reid. Um, I am the head of department for the Slade School of Art. Um, welcome to all the Slade graduates here today and to all the graduates from the, the Department of Information Studies. Um, just to say that um, um, colleagues um, from the Slade are um, Slade, Slade staff are teaching and uh, say teaching research staff are all engaged with teaching today as it's the start of term the first week. Um, and they've, and uh, many have passed on their best wishes, especially from Peter, Mel, David, Kate, Bridget, Jane, Sarah, Karen, Graham, Ben, Holly, Estelle and Sharon have passed on their best wishes for you today. I don't want people to think that there's no teaching ever takes place in information studies just because the Slade <laughs> colleagues happen to be teaching. But I now declare the ceremony open and we will now hear from, from our president and provost. Hi everyone, I'm Michael Spence, president and provost of UCL. Gives me great pleasure to welcome you all today to your virtual graduation ceremony. And I'd like to offer my wholehearted congratulations to you as you graduate from UCL and move forward to the next stage of your lives. Of course, I speak to many of you dispersed across the world today. We can agree that this situation isn't and hasn't been ideal, and we'd prefer to celebrate in person, but that doesn't diminish your remarkable achievements in any way. The whole UCL community is behind you, and we're in awe of the resilience that you've shown in the face of the challenges posed by the pandemic. Each of you has shown what you can achieve, even under the most trying circumstances. This year marks the 195th anniversary of UCL's founding. We continue to base our principles and beliefs on those of Jeremy Bentham, a commitment to social justice and the availability of education to all. At UCL, we've always believed in changing the world for the better. And as graduates, you'll carry that goal forward. You're a part of UCL's history, but just as importantly of its future too. This is not the end of your UCL journey. You're joining an impressive global alumni community of over 300,000 graduates who support and celebrate each other and who go on to achieve remarkable things around the world. UCL and the alumni community is here for you, not only as you take the next step in your career journey, but for life. So thank you. Thank you and congratulations. I look forward to a time when we'll be able to come together in person to further celebrate your amazing achievements. Thank you. Now I will, I'm now very pleased to hand over to Elizabeth Shepherd, head of the Department of Information Studies to present the graduates from the department. Elizabeth. Thank you very much, Stella. I am now delighted to commence the presentation of our graduates. I have pleasure in presenting to you these candidates who have been awarded a postgraduate certificate, postgraduate diploma, Master of Arts or Master of Science. The following candidates have been awarded a postgraduate certificate in digital humanities. Julia D'Agostino. Cynthia Zaniratti. The Postgraduate Diploma in Library and Information Studies, Dax River Romaine Shelley. Master of Arts in Archives and Records Management, Isabel Catherine Deards. Men Heng Charlotte Im. Maliha Ishmael. Jennifer Yvonne Jameson. Georgina Louise Robinson. Charlotte Mary Terry Brown. Thomas Stephen Wales. Natalie Jane Keith White. 
Master of Arts in Digital Humanities. Magdalena Maria Aral Siva. Master of Arts in Library and Information Studies. Anna Buck. Abigail Rosalba Chapman. Bryony Jane Davis. Sally Rhiannon Harmer. Hannah Juliet Liebschutz. Francis Marsh. Saveta Rumanova Rafailova. Anna Ruth Shipway. Catherine Claire Sothcott. I would like to pause there and ask my colleagues to unmute and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Well done. Great to see you. So the following candidates have been awarded a Master of Arts in Publishing. Vania Armindo Reguera. Kyra Camille Castros Ballesteros. Nidhi Jayesh Bauer. Charlotte Kathleen Bennett. Elizabeth Temitayo Burrell. Guntas Kaur Chug. Orla Ellen Silvana Cora. Anna Paula de la Borbola Escalante. Shona Catherine Henderson. Jonathan Andrew Herbert. Sophia Sanyu Nasanga Kakembo. Kim Carlotta Koenig. Una Os Christins Dottir. Hashita Ravi Lalwani. Marta Magnolfi. Lucy Jane Owen. Rachel Price. Anna Dora Richardson. Ruikan Rui Vanarom. Fabian Leila Schweitzer. And I would like to pause there and ask my colleagues to unmute and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Many congratulations. <laughs> the following candidates have also been awarded a Master of Arts in Publishing. Katie Shanahan. Michelle Spinici. Sebastiano Veloso. Manon Ada Shujun Wright. And Marcia Yvonne Cornelia Woody. The following candidates have been awarded a Master of Science in Digital Humanities. Dale Jarrod Klassen, Yue Yue Kui, Wen Min Ding, Yu Ying Dong, Chung Chi Yang, Yi Sha Yang, Wai Sin Li. 
Yu Ye Li. Sabea Mohammed. Yen Rong. Wei Wen Tao. Valeria Verbovaya. Ying Yong. Yi Ifei Zong. Kei Zhao. And I would like to pause there and ask my colleagues to unmute and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Many congratulations. Hey, well done. Well done. So pleasing to see so many of you here too. <laughs> very, very well done. The following candidates have been awarded a Master of Science in Information Science. Jin Ling Shao. Ilias Kanakaris. UAE Li. Xiao Meng Lu. Xin Yu Ma. Xiao Wen Man. Xiao Lin Nai. Aspin Chamling Rai. Ming Yue Xiao. G.A. Tong. D. Wang. Z. Ling Shang. Shi Wei Su. Wen Tao Su. Yu Chen Yang. G.A. Yang. Zine Yu, Zin Yue E Yang, Xu Wen Zhang. And I would like to pause there and ask my colleagues to unmute and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Many congratulations. One of those Claxton horns. <laughs> so we now turn to the successful candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Doctoral candidates undertake a program of independent research over at least three years. They must demonstrate a capacity to pursue original thought, original based thought and action, and provide a distinct contribution to their subject. A research degree requires total commitment and is at the very pinnacle of academic study. I have great pleasure in presenting to you the following candidate who has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Information Studies. Dr. Hannah Smith. And Doctor of Philosophy in Library and Information Science, Dr. Yaming Cindy Fu. Congratulations to both. That concludes all of our candidates from the Department of Information Studies. So the virtual platform party Please unmute yourselves one more time and give a round of applause to all of our graduates. Many, many congratulations. Thank you. Well done. 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 <laughs>
witnessing your commitment to a future career as a librarian, record keeper, publisher, digital humanist or information scientist. We have shared your experiences and interests throughout your learning. We have connected you with the wider professional networks we are part of. And now we can see you out in the wider information world, playing a full part as the future professional leaders. Some of our master's students may choose to return in future as doctoral students, and it is a particular pleasure to congratulate our doctoral graduates today. You each committed to the sometimes lonely journey of doctoral research, and it is wonderful to celebrate your success today with our community. I know that you are now both working in higher education and making your own distinctive contributions to the future development of our academic disciplines. Times change and society changes. We all experienced great disruption over the past 18 months. However, as we celebrated the centenary of the department in 2019-20 and created together the online exhibition and timeline, we could see the continuity from our beginnings through to our second century. You, our graduates, are well-placed as active citizens in an information saturated and connected, but increasingly polarized world. Information is deeply embedded in society, government, business, culture, communities, and everyday communications. You have broad and deep understandings of the nature and value of information and data in a digital and knowledge-based economy. You are skilled in creating, maintaining, manipulating, using and reusing, preserving and disseminating information in ethical ways. Wherever you choose to work, whether in grassroots, third sector or civic society organizations, or in industry or public service in government, you have amazing skills and knowledge to deploy to help make society a better place for all. I look forward to following your careers with pride and interest. Do keep in touch with the department. Good luck and many congratulations on your great achievement. I'm delighted now to welcome Professor Kieran Reed, head of the Slade School of Fine Art to present the graduates. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, I'm now delighted to commence the presentation of graduates, of our graduates. I have, I have pleasure in presenting to you these candidates from the Slade School of Fine Art who have been awarded a Bachelor of Arts or Masters of Arts. The following candidates have been awarded a Bachelor of Arts in Fine Art. Heyon Chi. Oscar. George Crab, Lu Yi Ding, Ashley Fisk, Yung Ha Lee, Emily Florence Webb. And now for the Bachelor of Fine Arts in Fine Art, Rachel. Angelica Demera Jade Harrington, Ellis Owen Parkinson. Ellis is also the Rosa Morrison Memorial Medal winner for 2021. Ellis is an exceptional and outstanding student achieving the highest mark by a considerable margin in the final examination. The examiners were especially impressed by the ambition, intelligence, originality, and vision of Ellis's work. Ellis is brilliantly, um, brilliantly works in numerous media to articulate the structural problem, problems of institutions from the lived experience of a young black artist. 
His unique type of institutional critique employs knowledge and research into politics, history, current affairs, law, um, official reports, art, film, and popular culture. He uses various strategies, including interpretation, analysis, humor, and appropriation, utilizing his expertise with numerous processes and techniques. Ellis's, Ellis's questioning of the status quo of institution interrogates the slain's own discussion of its need to achieve lasting change and equality. Ellis has made a huge contribution to the Slade. As it is clear, Ellis's work, um, he, um, as it is clear in Ellis's work, he is one of the most extraordinary students we've had in many years. I'd like to pause there and ask my colleagues to unmute and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. We now move on to our postgraduate candidates. The following candidates have been awarded a Master of Fine Art in Fine Art. Shi Han, Kleena Timoney, Yi Bo Zhang. I would like to pause there and ask my colleagues to unmute and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Well, well done. Congratulations. Well done. Congratulations. Now we turn to the successful candidates for the degrees of Doctoral of Philosophy. Doctoral candidates undertake a programme of independent research over at least three years. They must demonstrate a capacity to pursue original based thought and action and provide a distinct contribution to their subject. A research degree um, requires total commitment and is at the very pinnacle of academic study. I have the pleasure in presenting to you the following candidates who have been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Fine Art. Dr. Elizabeth Sarah Clark. Dr. Yi Yen Feng, Dr. Nir Segal, Dr. Fei Yi Wen. That concludes all of our candidates from the Slade School of Fine Art. I'd like, I would like to ask the virtual platform party to all unmute themselves and give a round of applause to all our graduates. Congratulations. 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 Yay. Okay, so congratulations everyone and thank you Stella for leading the ceremony today. Um, this is a very special day for us um, and for the Slade graduates um, and their families. Um, this day particularly highlights their huge achievement and their excite and, and their excellence and um, and in this opportunity, and this is the opportunity for us to celebrate this with them now. Um, as you all know, the Slade is an art school run by artists for artists. This year, the Slade is celebrating its 150th anniversary. And for us to properly consider our future, we're looking at our past and looking to see what we've we, what we have, could have done better. The Slade has a responsibility to renew and update its pedagogies methods and the ways of working to be inclusive and to be representative, representative of the diversity of London. The Slade has been interdiscip interdisciplinary from the start. Um, mathematicians taught geometry to our painting students and atomists um, explained the body in life classes. Henry Tonks, a medical doctor, became the Slade professor. And during this time, we shared our building with chemistry department um, Professor William Ram Ramsey discovered the noble gases, while Kenneth Meese, a PhD researcher in photography theory, re was researching film transparencies that would later be adopted by Kodak. The Slade has had many firsts. We were the first British art school to admit women on equal terms to men. We were the first film department in the UK. We had the first computer arts course in the world. With this history of change making, it's important that we remain relevant and keep 
evolving and learning to inform our teaching and research. Your tutors and I wish you many congratulations on your graduation today. The pandemic has impacted many of you through your studies and will continue to affect you for a while. It has been an exceptionally challenging time. The ways that this, this year's graduates engaged and flourished with their difficult circumstances has been outstanding. And we, as the Slade, are very proud of all of them. As the world around us changed, um, the situation impacted upon the arts and artists greatly and all adapted your ways of working to meet these challenges and you all addressed these concerns. The artworks you created for your examination were considered original, rigorous and sensational. We're extremely, sorry, we're incredibly proud of your achievements here in the Slade, but also what you've continued to do since the end of your course and in such a short time. And what we know you are going to achieve as artists now and in the future. The artwork you exhibited in the summer show was a clear window into what you'll do as artists. And, um, and, it, and, and, and it's really exciting how you introduced your works of art to new audiences beyond the Slade. As I said earlier, the Slade is a community of artists and it's a place where you will always be welcome. We look forward to welcoming you back at any time. Those graduating from the BA and the BFA, I'm, I'm really proud of what you have achieved in your study, in your studying art and developing your practice here at the Slade. I especially remember meeting you all during the first term of, of your study and our continued conversations through um, your time um, at the Slade. MA and MFA graduates, your dedication and hard work has always been evident from our one-to-one -one conversations, the work in the studios, and from feedback I received from your tutors telling me that you're all excelling. And finally, um, congratulations to our PhD researcher for your input to our research community and for your exceptionally your exceptional artwork you've created and the, and the positive effect you've had um, on the slate. For all of you, your resilience is not on notice and you are a special year um, that will be an important part of our history. I wish you all the very best and I know you will all excel and achieve your ambitions. You have been a wonderful year to teach and we will miss you all. Good luck and very best wishes for your future. I am now delighted to invite our Dean, Professor Stella Brutzi, to give her faculty address. Kieran, thank you. A really heartfelt well done to all of today's graduates and a thank you from the faculty and from UCL to my colleagues here on the virtual platform today. Graduation, even in these weird circumstances, is always one of my favourite points in the academic calendar. And I hope you felt the, felt, felt the support and uh, celebratory joy coming from the platform today. I never fail to be, to, to be moved by it. As we've seen today, a graduation is an exciting moment of transition and celebration of what you've achieved at university, the friends you've forged, the, the uh, futures you've all started to build and are embarking upon. Your part as today's ceremony exemplifies of a, rich, of a richly diverse and multidisciplinary community. So a bit um, about the faculty you've, you, you've been part of. The Faculty of Arts and Humanities at UCL has produced a multitude of successful and notable alumni, from artists Paul Arego and, uh, and uh, uh, Rachel Whiteread and filmmaker Derek Jarman, who all studied at the Slade, to Labour MP Tulip Sadiq and um, Hollywood director Christopher Nolan. It's a very long list. We are proud of, 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 of all our alumni who make us what we are. Uh, as a faculty, we, uh, we regularly come in the top 10 of global rankings for the arts and humanities and remain hugely important to the culture and heritage of UCL. Three of the university's four founding professors, for example, were in our subjects. The torch has now been passed on to you. You are all part of this rich heritage of innovation, academic excellence and creativity. If you think of life as a narrative, then consider how your time at UCL has now become integrated into your life script. 
I hope you'll all stay in touch, um, in touch with us and also with each other. This is a strange but hugely important time to graduate, as, as, uh, as, as both my colleagues, uh, Kieran and Elizabeth, have said. To enter a world, because of the pandemic, still very much dominated by politics and science. As you navigate that world, however, I urge you now to reflect on how important the, 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 the arts and humanities and culture are, what they bring, what they add, what they have and can achieve in terms of not just livelihoods, but to our lives, society and communities. Medicine gives you life, but culture makes life worth living. It feeds the soul and makes us who we are. Just as they were central to UCL's founding mission, so the arts and humanities remain fundamental to the successful functioning of our society today. The subjects you've, you've all studied will help you to understand yourself, society, and our place in the world. The human at the heart of humanities is vital. What are some of the core skills then you've acquired that, that, that you will now take with you into your brave new post-university world? You've all done different degrees, taken different pathways and have run with different specialisms, but there are, I'd suggest, some common threads to link you all. You have learned, for, for, for instance, to be excellent communicators. You've mastered the art of clear thinking as well as doing and will be consummate um, um, uh, researchers of words, images, emotions, ideas. You won't just have learned to be questioning, but will have learned how to question and challenge meaningfully and how to analyze language, images, data, evidence. Your degrees will have equipped you to be skilled at working with others, how to listen, for example, how to observe, as well as how to argue a point and how to represent. That's not merely about getting your point of view across forcefully and clearly, but about being able to engage meaningfully with those who take different points of view or have different attitudes. You all have become sensitive to cultural context and learned important skills in, in diplomacy and negotiation. As students of the humanities, you'll have a deep appreciation, I hope, for the value of tone and inflection, for the idea, as, as uh, Roland Barthes once observed, that the space between the notes are often, that the spaces, sorry, between the notes are often as important, as resonant with meaning as the notes themselves. You've become accustomed to thriving in a multidisciplinary environment and of truly appreciating firsthand the realization that, that, that the solution to every problem lies in cross-disciplinary thinking and requires a human dimension. Just think of the crises that swirl around us now. When thinking about value, many of us conceive of value in economic terms, but there is immense and unquantifiable value also in the skills you have and which I've touched on today. So leave university as active and engaged citizens, contribute to arts and culture, contribute to our, to, to our society and the world and help us navigate our way together towards a better future. Now Voyager, sail thy forth to seek and find. Many congratulations on your outstanding achievements. As Dean of the Faculty, I now have the pleasure of formally conferring your degrees. In a moment, we're going to hear from, 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 from one of our alumni members. Sophie Tate completed a Bachelor of Arts in Scandinavian Studies with Management Studies at UCL in 2001. Sophie is a global media executive who currently holds the position of Director for Production Strategy and Operations for the world's largest subscription streaming service, Netflix, in, in Los Angeles, having relocated from London in 2017 to build out the production management teams for local language programming in Europe, Middle East and Africa, and also Latin America. After graduating from UCL, Sophie went on to work for online retailer lastminute.com as the travel auctions head during their early start, the startup years, before moving to the BBC for a very diverse and rewarding 15 year career across global television, 
radio, online and event production around the world. Hi, I'm Sophie Tate. I studied Scandinavian Studies with Management Studies in the Faculty of Arts and Humanities at UCL. And um, whilst I might not have realised at the time, learning languages and understanding how businesses run has really helped set me up for success in my career in global TV and film production. So I now lead a team supporting content being produced in over 190 countries for the global streaming service Netflix here in Los Angeles. I'm delighted to be celebrating with you today as you graduate from one of the world's leading universities. Now that's no small feat in a typical year, and this has been anything but a typical time. Your resilience, adaptability, and patience that you've honed during this unique moment in time alongside the world-class education from UCL will serve you incredibly well in the years to come. So huge congratulations to you all. Now your learning doesn't end here, so continue to challenge convention, disrupt the status quo, and think bigger. Stay curious, keep that open mind as you seek to understand and turn theory from UCL into reality in whatever you go on to do next. You know great ideas can come from anyone, anywhere. And as London's global university, UCL has set you up with a wonderfully diverse perspective and an incredible network. The world is smaller than you think, and now is your time to influence it. Continue to collaborate, cooperate and contribute to this amazing network. There are over 300,000 alumni just like me to partner with, so make the most of that. Look for ways to help the many and find others who are doing the same thing. You'll make a bigger impact and you'll have a lot more fun. How you do all of this really matters, so be kind, generous with your time and celebrate the successes of those around you, just as we're doing today. But wherever you are in the world, celebrating this graduation success, I wish you all the very best for the future. Congratulations. Very well done. You've really earned this moment. Before we close the ceremony, let's have one final round of applause for all of our graduates. Congratulations. Well done, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, and most importantly, our graduates, that concludes our virtual graduation ceremony. I offer you my wholehearted congratulations and my very best wishes for the future. Thank you. <laughs>